Welcome, my dear friends. Welcome, viewers, on Muni Meter Health, your source of learning about human heart and cardiology. This is Dr. Jaitley, your cardiologist from New York. Welcome again on Muni Meter Health. Our goal is primarily to enhance medical education and patient education, both on this uh, uh, channel. And we are trying to improve the health literacy so that we can improve the clinical outcomes, therefore. So once again, welcome on Muni Meter Health. What is the role of dietary supplements? Let's discuss very briefly in this video. We know there are cancer deaths and cardiovascular deaths, which are the major source of mortality, unfortunately, over a period of time. Now, in the Annals of Internal Medicine, only in April of 2019, once again, it was shown that if you were not to have a good balanced diet and instead you tried to supplement that with dietary supplements, which could include calcium, which could include A, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, or vitamin K, any of these vitamins that you tend to, that many of us, we tend to take, but assuming that even if you did not have a good balanced diet, hopefully these vitamins or these dietary supplements should help us. It's actually on the contrary that all of this is not good. So just remember that dietary supplements have not been shown to one, to reduce mortality, either cancer mortality or cardiovascular mortality. On the contrary, increased cancer deaths have been reported now with increased calcium intake or vitamin D intake. So both have been linked now to cancer deaths, unfortunately. Now, what is the theory and what is the mechanism? That will be uh, again discussed at a later time, but during this um, period, just remember that the cancer deaths, specifically so with calcium and vitamin D, have been linked uh, just by dietary supplements alone. So, friends, again, um, you know, what stands out now is that uh, having a balanced diet is more important and uh, getting all your nutrients, all these nutrients from a balanced diet is more important than from a dietary supplement. So try not to take these supplements if possible and of course rely totally on your balanced diet. So once again, you know, your proteins, carbohydrates and of course fats, it's better to all have that balance through your through your diet and along with all these vitamins that will come within the diet itself. So you don't need to supplement any of these diets at all. Now remember the cancers, I've tried to show, of course the cardiovascular mortality, as I said, is not affected. These are the coronaries I've shown here, so that we know that uh, initially there was uh, uh, the hypothesis that folic acid and B12 would help, or the B, the B complexes as we call them. They would help in uh, cardiovascular mortality, but that is not the case, unless and until you know, there are specific deficiencies that only you have to worry about. But uh, just remember that uh, here I've shown the stomach, here I've shown the liver, here I've shown the colon, which is the bigger intestines, and these are the small inter intestines. And of course, these are your lungs, the right lung, and this is your left lung, and this being the heart. So just in, just, just in a nutshell, that cancers have been reported uh, throughout these organs. Again, uh, one cannot link which organ is involved more than the other. That is still awaiting to be seen, but increased cancer deaths have been reported specifically so with calcium and vitamin D high intake. So again, rely on your balanced diet, folks, and uh, not on dietary supplements. Once again, this was a very, very short video. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep watching Muni Meter Health. This is Dr. Jaitley. Again, so long, and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye now.